Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming in my office. It's the only quiet space I have right now and I wanna bring you a super quick video on minimalism in a kitchen. So if you guys know, I've been on this you know massive minimalism journey for about four years now. I've always hated clutter and I've always liked everything to be very simple just because I feel like it helps to clear my mind. So naturally, I feel like I was a born minimalist. However, lately I've been really getting into it and making sure that I'm practicing minimalism in every aspect of my life. So not just my kitchen, but with the garbage we are producing and with the food we're wasting and the clothes we're buying and the friends that we have, everything in our life we are trying to be you know, as minimalistic as possible. So today I wanna to talk about the kitchen, just a super quick video. I had some thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys, some little things that maybe you can do uh, to help kind of declutter the house and clear your mind a little bit. So something that I have really um, hated is having you know, tons of different things in my cupboard that are never used. I am usually pretty good with not buying food that we're not going to eat. I don't buy plates and pots and pans and things that I know I ne I'll never use but I think are cool. Um, I'm pretty good with that. However, at times I did go buy like some little panini presses and things like that that I maybe use twice. So the other day I went through my kitchen and I pulled everything out, like literally every single thing in all of my cupboards, oops, placed it on my kitchen table or on my kitchen floor and I started sorting and I got rid of a lot. So what I did was I sat down and I said, how often have I used this? Have I used it in the past six months? If the answer was no, um, I put it in the no pile. And then I did that with every single thing. So my crock pot, so pressure cookers, um, pots, pans, plates, whatever I had, my, my utensils, spatulas, pancake flippers, whatever. I put it, if I wasn't using it often or at least within the last six months, I put it in the no pile. And then um, out of that no pile with all my kitchen products, I then sat down and said, is this something that I use consistently like every single Christmas? Like, do I have like a, a food warmer that I only bring out at Christmas and Thanksgiving um, so that I actually use it, but I don't have events during the week or during the months where I need to use it. So it's more like a seasonal thing, but that I do use it. I hope that makes sense. If I truly did use something every single, like, Christmas, Easter season, but just not all the time because we don't have those get togethers all the time, then I kept it. If I rarely used it, I donated it. There was surprisingly a lot of stuff that I ended up donating. I had like three different can openers. I didn't buy them. Someone actually gifted them to me and I never actually gave them away. I just kind of kept them. So they were cluttering up my drawer. I had like 10 different spatulas, 10 different of everything you can think of. So pe uh, peelers and things like that. I'm like, I don't need all of these. So I kept one of each. And then I got rid of like my, my panini press because I used it maybe three times since I bought it four years ago. Um, you know, I had like four different strainers that I just never used, different size strainers. I always just use my big ones. So I went and got rid of so much stuff. And then I put everything back into my cupboards and I sat down and saw how empty my cupboards were and how easy it was to find stuff. And it felt great. I got rid of a lot of extra muffin tins that I didn't need and things like that. So um, that was the first area um, where I've lately been practicing minimalism is in my kitchen. And I encourage you with that to go do the same thing. Maybe take some time while kids are at school, sit down in your cupboards and get rid of what you don't need. There is a big part of that where it comes to food. Um, like I said, I'm pretty good with only buying what we actually need for the week. So I don't store a ton of food. Um, it might not be the best thing. It's, it's a good idea to have some food on hand in case power goes out or something like that. So we do have a little bit of, you know, like canned stuff, but like it's, or jarred things, but it's not a lot. So after I went through my cupboard and got rid of all my, you know, pots and pans that I don't need, I went into my food cupboard and I cleared that out. So I did have a lot of, you know, beans that are maybe a year old that have been sitting there that I probably won't use, um, like dried beans and things like that. I had a lot of like old nuts that were in the back of my cupboard, um, which should actually be in the fridge. I had a lot of spices that I just don't use, a lot of, um, you know, things that just kind of built up and collected. I needed them for one recipe four years ago and I still had it now type of thing. So um, I went through it all. I went through my spices and I went to the dollar store and I, I need to be able to try to film this for you, but I don't think I will be able to um, because my battery is really low. But what I did is I got these little containers. Ikea has really good ones as well. These long plastic white containers. And... Um, I got some from Ikea, some from the dollar store, just different sizes. But what I did was I got these plastic containers and I lined up all my spice bags in one and all of my spice jars in another and then my salt and pepper and all of that in another. So it just kind of makes it really categorized and organized. 
Um, and I got rid of tons of spices and tons of things that I, like I said, I bought, you know, some weird spice for one recipe that I used four years ago and never used again. It's probably gone bad. So I throw it a lot. Um, and just kept the very basic staples that I use every single day. Um, and then the, the spices and herbs that aren't used every day but are used frequently enough, I kept in another little plastic bin. And I um, know that that one is, if I'm looking for something that's not super common, like your typical salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, then I would look in that bin for it to find more um, like smoked paprika and things that I don't use as often. So yeah, I went through my cupboards. It was a lot of like old ice cream cones and cereal and things that I just bought a long time ago and that we're not using and that are gone bad now so I threw everything out I completely cleaned out my my kitchen and it feels amazing because now when I open up my cupboards it's so simple so I love being able to not have to shuffle through all my jars trying to find that bag of pasta in the back I know now where everything is and it's very simple and clean so that's where I've been practicing minimalism like I've said and I encourage you to do the same uh, the kitchen is huge for me because that's where I spend honestly most of my time and and when there's a lot of clutter and it takes so long to find something it really builds up frustration and I don't think that that's needed if it's if you can clear it out if you're not using it everything's so much more simple so the last place that I've been really doing minimalism this is something I've been practicing minimalism for for years so it's not new but just want to you know kind of remind you guys about this one is the fridge uh, and the freezer so when I go to the store I usually just buy exactly what I need for that week Sometimes there will be leftovers. So for example, I might buy a jug of almond milk and only use half. So I'm obviously not gonna throw out the almond milk the next week. But what I do is every single week um, when I go to the grocery store, my I make sure my fridge is pretty bare. I absolutely hate when we waste food. If my kids don't eat all their dinner, I get really stressed. I never force them to finish up their plates. I don't want them to have unhealthy eating habits. So what I do is I just give them smaller portions and if they would like more, then I refill. And that's just because I hate waste. So I don't give them a mountain and then if they don't finish it, I dump it. I just give them a little bit at a time. So because of that, we don't really have a lot of extra food. I only make what we're going to eat. Um, I only buy what we're going to eat. So my fridge is pretty empty. So I'm able to do this where before I go grocery shopping, I take everything out of my fridge, wipe it down with some essential oils, make it all nice, clean and sparkly and smelling fresh. And then I put back everything that, you know, I, I took out um, and I organize it nicely. If for some reason there is some gone bad fruit or there is, you know, a, a little bit of an old jar that's maybe molding inside, like an old salsa or something, um, I will toss it. But that's rare just because, like I said, we only buy what we eat but I do get rid of anything and I do that on a weekly basis where if there's something in the fridge that's like I said molding or that's getting old I will toss it um or compost it of course and that way my fridge is always empty and then when I go to the grocery store and I come bring the groceries home I will take all those groceries out and organize them really perfectly into the fridge um, so I can see the food the most important is not having like your lettuce and then your cucumber and then your oranges and then your tomatoes because then you're not gonna see that lettuce way in the back of the fridge probably will wilt and go old and then you're wasting um so i kind of line everything up where i can see it all i buy just what we need so there's not over cluttering in the fridge and once i can see exactly what we have and what we need then it's a lot easier to make sure we're not wasting because i will try to use up all those ingredients throughout the week um, so that's a big area where I've practiced minimalism for so long. I still am and then with when it comes to jars sauces things like that If I open up a jar of tomato sauce and I only use half I won't leave it in the fridge and open it two weeks later because it probably will be molding So I will pour it into a uh, ziploc bag and then freeze the extra and that way when I do want to make pasta Maybe next month. I will pull it out of the freezer uh, and use the sauce rather than having to go buy a new jar so these are just like little tips that i do but i always make sure at the end of every week i do a quick clean out i put in the freezer what's coming potentially getting old if there's some old apples i'll chop them and freeze them and then we'll use it in a smoothie because it you know the freezer preserves it if there's extra sauce i'll pour it in a bag and freeze it but i clean up the fridge and that way there's very little waste we don't waste much and that way um when I am preparing our meals, I can see all the food and everything's kind of lined up nicely. So that's just what I've been thinking about this week is minimalism in the kitchen, keeping things very simple, decluttered. We don't need 100 plates. We're happy to have 10, you know, some for us. And if we have some friends over, same with forks, knives, spoons, potato peelers, like you don't need a lot. So we've really simplified and it feels great. Um, my kitchen's really old and it still is, um, a lot needs a lot of work. So I'm not really filming much in my kitchen right now. When we do a house upgrade and upgrade our kitchen, I'll be happy to show you how I organize and how 
how simple I keep things. But for now, I'm not gonna show you my kitchen because it's not my favorite room in the house. Uh, as of right now, it's pretty old. So that's all I have for this video though. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch it. If you have any questions or comments, organizational tips when it comes to minimalism in the kitchen or really any part of your house, please leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to read them and hear your thoughts. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, check out my social, which is in the description box below and we'll chat in my next video. Bye.